everybody, my name is Pano, and I'm here to do the Fridays on That's Gay. To clear up some confusion about the uploading this week, some of us were thrown into situations this week where good internet wasn't available, so uploading on our scheduled day had become a little bit difficult. So that's why you're getting two videos today, but don't worry, the future weeks, everything will be good on time, on the right day. Anyway, in light of National Coming Out Week, this week we were all sharing our coming out stories and any coming out tips that we may have. Uh, I came out during my senior year of high school. It was towards the end of my senior year. I was 17 and it just all kind of happened. Growing up, I had always thought I wasn't going to come out until at least college. I was always very aware of the fact that I was gay, but it was something that I always kind of just repressed inside of myself. And ironically, I did grow up in a very gay is okay environment, but something inside me always had me very fearful of coming out. The majority of my friends growing up were straight guys, and for some reason I had always told myself they wouldn't accept me if I came out, which was the complete opposite of the truth. So December of my senior year was the first time I told anybody that I was gay. There was a girl at my school who formed a really, really big crush on me, and one of my good friends was really good friends with her. So my good friend kept really pushing me and pushing me to go out with this girl, but I didn't really have an excuse not to because she was a really, really pretty girl. <laughs> so eventually I needed a real excuse for why I couldn't date this girl, so I just came out and told my friend, you know, I'm gay. And she was very, very, very sad. <laughs> surprise, to say the least. I have definitely gotten a little bit more effeminate since I've come out, so it's not as surprising when I tell people that I'm gay now, but when I was in high school, I definitely, the suspicion was not there. <laughs> for most people, at least, I think. But she was totally okay with it, and she really kept it a secret for the months to come until I finally decided to come out to everybody. Then around toward March, um, something just like clicked in my head that, I don't know, I guess it was kind of like an epiphany, where I just really, really, really stopped caring. So all at once, I just made it public information. I told a few of my friends first, and then like a flood, it all just spread everywhere. And there really wasn't any negative backlash to doing that. People were generally pretty accepting at my high school, at least, you know, to my face. And then there was an instance like a week later where my mom came into my room and she was like, I have something to ask you. And in my head, I was like, ooh, I know where this is going. <laughs> she goes, are you gay? And I'm like, yeah, I am. How did you know? She's like, well, your father told me. <laughs> and I was like, all right, how did he know? My dad stalks my internet presence. He sees everything, anything I post on the internet. So he told my mom after I'd posted something about being gay on Twitter that I assumed that he wouldn't say. So I was kind of forced into coming out to my parents, which I was actually really kind of glad that that happened because I'm not too sure I would have told them myself if that didn't happen. And they were completely accepting also. And like a day later, my little brother came home from school. He was in middle school at the time. And he goes, he goes, Pano, there are kids at our school saying that you're gay. And I was like, well, I am. His immediate reaction was something along the lines of, but he was totally cool with it also. And you know, that's, that's my coming out story. The rest was history. <laughs> it was something that I really internalized within myself and had built up a huge fear about doing for absolutely no reason because after I came out, Things were totally fine, and it was like a huge weight was lifted off my chest, and I could finally just living my life as me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. It was slightly abbreviated, but that is pretty much exactly how it went. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. And that concludes week one of That's Gay. Thanks for watching, guys.